Okay guys, welcome back to another war review uh, for Pretty Cocky. Pretty Cocky weren't so cocky because uh, we lost again. again. <clears throat> so let's go and have a look at the details of the war. So we lost to Patton's Edge, 74-77. Um, the highest three stars they got on us was against Matt Bertha um, and the highest three stars we got against them was done by Skylar, so let's have a look at Skylar's replay so he's drawing the clan castle out with loons there you can see he's got all of them no more troops to come out Drops the king, rages it straight away. As does the queen and her uh, clan castle dealt with, so. The lava hounds are in. Loons are down. He's only taken three with him this time, uh, lava hounds, and I think that's probably because the air defense is a level six, not level seven. Great coverage there with the rage spells. Held them off just long enough to uh, encompass the uh, last two wizards, wizard towers. He's still got his king and his queen. King's gone, so that's all the defence is gone now, and he's just got to clean up the remainder of uh, the outside buildings. And there you have it, a nice three stars by Skylar on their number 10. So let's uh, have a look to see who got the next three stars. Thanks for the troops, Hayes. And Bane. So the next three stars was by Matt, and um, I can tell you now, a lot, of, a lot of people, including myself, don't really think that a go wipe is a three star strategy. Um, it's a solid two, but uh, Matt always gets three. So golems are in, wizards are behind. Now the wizards are going to clean out the outside buildings here, which will allow the peckers to go straight. There goes the first heal spell to cover the clan castle troops. The remaining wizards and peckers in. I donated that giant. Let's see how he does. And the good thing about level 5 is I donated a level 6 uh, giant, which then became a level 7 because of the clan perk. Where. Uh, we're not far off from being level 6. So he's pretty much taken out half the base there. Peckers are broken out on the outside. King and Queen uh, have just been used. That big bomb dealt a bit of a blow there, but not enough. There's still two peckers walking around the outside. With another one coming in from the right. Poor old wizard tower. Sorry, archer tower doesn't stand a chance. Here 
comes the Queen as well. She's finally broken through a wall, clearing up some of the outside buildings. We just speed it up here. So Peckers are coming in for a walk. And one swipe should do that. There you have it. Great three stars from uh, Matt Bertha. So let's go ahead and see who got Clash of the Clans uh, most heroic. And it was Matt Bertha. And um, obviously we've just watched that. So let's. We haven't done any defences on these war reviews. So let's have a look at um, Xanax's defence here. Um, and he's got a dragon splash um, with. Uh, Eight dragons and twelve loons. Um, he's obviously a TH10 because they're max dragons, and he's got a free spell there. Um, so this guy's dropping down eight, as you can see. Uh, they're number two coming down for number ten, and uh, the dragons here. You know, with any troop combination, you've always got your high hit points, your meat shields, if you like, um, which in this case would be the dragons and uh, the loons there for the high damage. Um, so you probably want to hide those loons behind the dragons. Um, let's see what he does. So Loon's in first, there's your first mistake. Because the dragons are going to not head for the weapons, they're going to take their time on those uh, outside, any outside building. It's just first come, first serve for a dragon. So he's used three rages straight away. And there goes his only free spell. Level 1 free spell didn't last very long. And we've got two air defence, two expos, all bearing down on these dragons. And he's just down to one dragon in the centre now. And that one's going fast. So he's still got his king and his queen. And his clan castle here. So there's the king and the queen. Last dragon's gone. These wizards and archers aren't going to last long with an expo on them, plus a cannon and a archer tower. He's raised the king. He's trying to eke out 50%. Probably might have raised his king a little late there, and he did because he didn't get the full use of uh, the king's rage. He's still got the Queen to go, no doubt he's about to press her because she's getting low, there you go. Big Bomb takes out all the archers. And uh, unfortunately for him that tower was only worth 1%, so uh, fantastic defence there by Zax. So that pretty much brings us to an end of uh, our fifth war review. The uh, upcoming war starts in four hours uh, against uh, Zlatan City. Um, I think a French or possibly French Canadian clan. Um, and they look pretty decent, so let's see what happens. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and um, see you again next time.